Hi, I'm Milena Moser. I'm from Switzerland and I'm reading from Fool's Journey, the first book published in English. This is about one of the happy couples I visited in order to get over my divorce, Susan and Doug. Come on, I'll show you before the sun goes down. Susan walks ahead of me through the knee-high grass. She knows every blade of grass, every rock. I've never seen such a landscape. It's endearing and primordial at the same time. As if at any moment dinosaurs could stomp through the high grass. As if we turned around for an instant, nature would erase any trace of our presence behind our backs. I don't know the last time I had seen anyone so clearly in the right place as was Susan. She belongs here. Not the US, not the Southern States, not New Orleans, no, spe <laughs> specifically here in Southern Louisiana, Cajun country. What is it? The land? The people? The music? All of the above? It's completely un-American, she says. It's what we Europeans always say when we particularly like a place in the US. It's so European, it's so un-American, as if justifying that America is simply different than what we thought. America is everything and the opposite of everything. Actually, America is what we didn't imagine. The next day, when we get ready to go out again, Susan sits on the floor, polishing her dance boots. She's completely absorbed. Her back is bent, hair hangs over her face and covers her fairy tale blue eyes. Doug, who was about to show me his boots, goes silent in the middle of his sentence, gets lost looking at her. An old envy rises in me. Why doesn't anyone look at me that way? Why am I never good enough? Why doesn't anybody love me the way I am? I never felt I got first prize with you, my ex-husband once said. But I shake off the memory. What did Daphne say? You teach people how to treat you.